Okay, let's take a look at Don't Let Your Deal Go Down. This song is a really good illustration of what's called a, a chain of fifths. And we'll talk more about that in the video about harmony. But um, when you run into a song that seems to depart from the usual chords in that key, you might be dealing with a, a chain of fifths. And so um, we're in the key of G here, but we're gonna see an E major chord and an A major chord in the song. And so, uh, and then a D. And so we're going to end up with an E, A, D, G. And it just cycles around through those four chords. Now, I'm not doing much extra besides playing uh, an alternating bass pattern for each chord. So just real quick, uh, on the G chord I'm playing the 6th string 3rd fret strum, and then I'm playing the 4th string open. So, E chord, I'm playing the 6th string open, strum, and then the 4th string. And you don't have to do anything with your left hand in any of these, just to hold the chord. Okay. I'm playing my A chord with one finger. I think uh, it took me a lot of guitar playing before I started playing that way. Um, if you play your A chord with three fingers, it's really not going to make a difference. So. There is one little walk up that I think is easier if you're playing the A with your first finger, but uh, we'll get to that. So on the A chord I'm playing the um, fifth string open, and then I'm going to the sixth string open. On the D chord I'm doing a similar pattern, I'm doing the fourth string open, strum, fifth string open. So that's the foundation of it. Let me just play that around for you. Um, the song basically, the progression basically starts on an E chord. And we're doing two measures of each. And guess what? That's the whole song. So. You could easily just back up the song doing doing just what I just did. So and that's it. So let's look at the couple little runs that we can add to that. First one is um, you're going to walk down from this G to this E. So in the transition from the G chord to the E chord, you're going to add these two notes: the second fret and the first fret on the E string, low E string. Second finger, first finger. It's an F sharp and an F. So from the G, you're going to have this run. And in the context of the song, it's going to be like this. G chord, you're going to play the bass note. Strum. So these two notes are going to be on beats three and four. So it's one, two, three, four. And now you're going to the E chord. One, two. So one, two, three, four, one, two. You don't ever play it up in this song, just down. Okay. Now, going from the E chord to the A chord, I'm doing this. Um, second fret of the sixth string, first finger, and then fourth fret of the sixth string with my third finger. Two notes from the G major scale, F sharp. Uh, I take that back. This note's not in the G major scale. Uh, I think we're kind of um, taking a little detour into the key of E. Um, in this case. So um, F sharp, G sharp, then you go to the A chord. And then you're gonna do the exact same thing on the fifth string. So, uh, second fret, fifth string, fourth fret, fifth string. It's a B and a C sharp, leading you to the D chord. Yeah, and these notes are not actually from the uh, G major scale. Another weird thing about this song, 
they work really well as, connect as connectors. Um, so that sounds like E. And then you're gonna walk up to the G. E, F sharp G, open string, second fret. So here's the whole thing. Look at this A chord. If you're playing your A with, the, with your first, second, third fingers, you should still be able to do that run. It's just maybe a little bit more of a jump, but it really shouldn't be a problem. And that's it. So you should be all set to play along with the tune.